Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So today, I wanted to come to you guys with a full review of the Nama J2 Juicer. Now, I did an unboxing, but I never posted it because for whatever reason, the video was like, I don't know, like slow motion. Um, but the box, actually, where is the box? Because I still have the box for a little while. It comes inside of a regular Nama Juice actual box. Um, I'll probably take a photo of it and pop it in. But um, inside of the box, there are different pieces, if you will. So it kind of tells you like start here when taking out the stuff in the box. Um, so it comes with a cord, of course. This is like the pusher. I think they call it a pusher. Um, <laughs> a brush to clean it. And then this end here, I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you guys see that? It actually flips this way so you could actually, you know, dig out in the corners. I hope you guys can see that. Yeah, dig like in the corners or something. Actually, <laughs> this little thing is actually really, really helpful. Um, it comes with a top that could actually sit on top of here if you wanted to sit your juice. So this is the one that the juice falls into with a top. It comes with this, which is where the, I don't want to say waste because it's not waste. The the pit, the pit and like the skin and stuff like that. Well, I don't, I don't know what you want to go. I think it's like the fiber part of. Here's an extra strainer. You can make smoothies with this one. It also comes with these two pieces here and the other strainer is inside along with the little, uh, I guess you call it blade. Um, they do come separate. Let me open this up. Every, okay, I'll say this. Each piece, regardless of how much fruit is stuck on it, you can clean it off. Uh, this little brush here is very, very helpful, but to be quite honest, I just literally run my water over it with like the, I don't I guess you could call it like the shower head part, like the sprinkle part and then it gets most of it out and then I just kind of dig out whatever is not in, whatever doesn't come out. Uh, but this comes, the top, this comes, every piece comes off, this comes off of here, and then the blade is on the inside with another strainer cup for the juice. So I just take it off and clean it after each use. The juice sits in here, in here, and then you open it here and then the other stuff comes out of here so let me just move this over here so. now the base part is here i did get it in black they have it in white um i want it black because i don't know it looks better to me the white one has this is black at the top i don't know i don't really like it so that's the actual juice itself. So there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I guess you could say 13 pieces, because I'm including that top. Uh, so 13 pieces in total. The base is very heavy. I do leave it on my counter. So now let's get into the packet that it comes with. Of course, they're saying like a little situation in here on how to juice. Now we all know how to juice, right? However, they want you to put your fruits and vegetables in your Nama a specific way. So it's telling you the layering guide. So the layering guide, they want you to start from, so you got from top to bottom. So what you're putting in there first is your leafy greens because it's the softest. So it says leafy and then it says soft. So as an example, they have like lemons, right? Then they have medium which is like a cucumber, right? Or zucchini, I don't know, whatever you guys want to juice. Something harder than that would be like a beet or a carrot. So they want you to do it that way. 
take a screenshot. <laughs> Uh, and I guess that's so the harder stuff can push the softer stuff down. And I'll tell you this, I've had days where my kale was like moving all around and then I had to like move it in. So it does make sense. Then it comes with a recipe book. Right, so you have the recipe book here. And in here, it's just a bunch of cool recipes for you. Um, I haven't tried any, cause I've been sticking to the ones that I know how to make really fast. Uh, but. Great, oh actually I see, let me see. It's funny cause they have strawberry in the picture but not in the, I don't know, let me see. The green, green juice is so good guys. It's like, yeah there's a lot of green juice recipes in here. This is this, this a good starter kit for someone who doesn't know how to juice at all. Um, just go through the book. You know what, I'll probably start getting creative and using some of, oh they got pomegranate. And then of course milk. So they use almonds, uh, most people use almonds but I use walnuts and hemp seeds. And then, what else? They just kind of tell you like the type of, let's see, hold on one second. The types of fruits and vegetables. Um, yeah, this is cool because it has Tuscan cabbage or oh, kale. Yeah, so everything is pretty much in here. They even have onions in here, but it says go easy on these. <laughs> I'm sure. Um, so it kind of it just goes through all of the fruits and vegetables that people would typically. And they even have some herbs in here, so that's good too. I don't see powerful flavor when you juice, so mix them with other berries. I'll probably do some strawberry. Um, but then they have like herbs and stuff here, which is awesome. So this book, can you guys see it? Yeah. This book is, this book comes inside of it. Then they have the quick start guide that also comes with it. Super helpful if you've never had a juicer before. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, can you guys see this little piece right here? This is my vlogging camera because I'm downstairs. So I was having some difficulties putting this in back into the base. Well, not the base. Into this little plastic piece here where the juice sits. You just have to make sure that you have them in their proper slot. Otherwise it won't click in. So don't get frustrated. Uh, so yeah, let's see, one, two, three, four. Mm. Oh, they're not showing the cups here, okay. Yeah, and then it tells you how to assemble the chamber. It just kind of goes through it, very simple. That comes with it. And then of course, the actual manual, right? So those are all the things that come with the juicer. Now. Let me talk about the things that I have, that I like about it, um, and the things that I don't like about it. <laughs> so, what I love about it is that it's so much easier for me to actually juice my juices. I had a Nutribullet, which is not a juicer, that one, and I found myself getting creative one day and just using my, um, cheesecloth <laughs> to like squeeze the juice and make my juice, which is very time consuming, right? I work from home and I need something quick and easy. So for me, this Nama, let me see if I can bring this down son. This Nama here, God, this thing is bomb. This here is very, very convenient for me. And I'm gonna tell you why. The fact that I could actually put a whole bunch of fruit and vegetables in at one time is a win for me, okay? It may not be a win for someone else, but for me, I wanted this. They do have another one that is cheaper, um, and I think the top is like this. I don't think it's like a huge opening like this one. So this is why I paid the extra money for this one. Some of you guys probably don't need to do that, but I am a girl about convenience, okay? And if I could stick it in here, then I'm, I'm good to go. So I like, that's number. That's the first thing that I really, really like about it. The second thing is that it's easy to clean, even though it may sometimes look like, oh my God, this is so much stuff on here. It's very, very easy to clean. 
The third thing is I like how the juice comes out. I did notice that I tried to juice um, papaya and it gave me like, I don't want to say smoothie, but it was definitely like thick like a boathouse juice, I guess you could say. It's kind of thick, but it wasn't smoothie like, but it did give me a mo much more of a texture. Um, I like the way it cleans. I like how the juice comes out. Um, I'll give you guys a quick tip. On here, these numbers here, where it says 16 ounce, do I have a bottle next to me? I don't. So I would usually do 16, 16, do it twice, and then I'll fill up my 24 ounce bottle of my glass bottle. So I always have a little bit left. So those are the things that I love about it. It's easy to clean. I love the fact that it has this huge opening. And I also love the fact that, oh, I can also make smoothies with it with this one. And I love the fact that I have these two huge things to put my stuff in, okay? Um, very, very easy to use. That's another thing that I love about it. It's easy to use. And again, easy to clean is a big thing, guys, because you know sometimes these juicers are just like messy. So very, very user friendly, easy to clean, big top. The blades are easy to clean. Um, you can pretty much wash the entire thing. I have not stuck it in a dishwasher and I probably will not. But just cleaning it is super easy. What I do not like about it is the price. <laughs> now, I don't think it's expensive, but some people will not want to pay $5.50 for a juicer. But I'll tell you this, if you want something that is convenient, guys, go for this one. There is another one out there. I forget the name of it, but it's like $700, okay? This one is $5.50, but it's totally, totally worth it. Um, I wanted to just give you guys a quick little review about it. Would I recommend it? I would. Um, and the reason why I would is because I feel like there is no need to buy something cheaper and have to keep replacing it. You do get a lifetime warranty on this, so that's a win for me as well. If something breaks, I'm calling them up, like straight up, okay? So that's a huge benefit. If it's lifetime warranty, I would definitely say go for it and get it. This is not a sponsored video, it's just that I wanted to wait and use it for like a good month and tell you guys all the benefits that I like about this. I have no issues with this so far and I will keep you guys updated. So quick review on the Nama J2 Juicer. Will I recommend it? Yes, recommend it, yes. 10 out of 10, in my opinion, yes. Price, not so much, but you know, each person is different. But I say give it a chance. Sorry guys, my air was on. Give it a chance. Um, if you are interested in something like this, I am gonna link everything below for you guys. But that is it guys, a quick little video on this. Um, if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco, we see you. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And my personal style and blog, Coco Styles NYC and my, oh no, yes, that was my, my style blog. And then my style services is Coco Styles NY, NY.com. And TikTok, Coco Styles, NYC, guys. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.